Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, Pisces. <clears throat> Let's get a universal message and see how you guys are doing on the soul's journey. All right, we're going to get some high vibrational activities out here. Something you can do that possibly help you change your situation at this time. What's the high vibrational activity for Pisces when they view the video? Okay, tantrum time. Tantrum time. Dang. Okay, so punch or yell into a pillow, stomp your feet, get on the floor and start kicking and screaming. Having a tantrum moves and releases your energy so that you can, uh, <clears throat> so that it is not stuck and weighing you down. Afterwards, you'll feel lighter and ready to move forward. So your high vibrational activity, Pisces, is just to let that shit out, please. Just let it out. The universe is saying, go ahead, have a tantrum, kick the floor, scream in the pillow, whatever you got to do to release your anger and frustration, stress, depression, whatever it takes, let it out. Shift your energy, release it so you can feel lighter and happier and move on with your day. So it's tantrum time. Let them people know too. Anything bothering you, you may want to say, release that as well. All right, so Pisces, <clears throat> let's get a, uh, since it's coming like that, we're going to get a, a practical self-care oracle just to see what else you can do to kind of like, you know, pull it together for yourself. Some helpful, some more helpful information for Pisces. Something you can do to better take care of yourself, you know? change a bad habit okay kill a bad habit drinking overeating or anything else that's not serving you right so this could be like <clears throat> you know like it, according to this tantrum time sometimes people may tend to use drinking to deal with their problems and frustration opposing to releasing it you know i'm gonna drink it away or i'm gonna eat it away or, you know, stuff like that, unhealthy stuff. So the universe is asking you to change some of your habits, change some of the things you do. When you feel frustrated, if the first thing you do is reach for a glass or a bottle, figure out something else to do. You know, if the first thing you do is grab a burger or a sandwich, you know, figure out something else to do. Okay, we're going to release all this negativity today. Okay, universe is speaking. We're re releasing all negativity and bad habits today. <clears throat> All right, Pisces. So I hope that helps some of you. Let's hop into the reading. You already know. We're going to check up on the energy of your person. We're going to see how they feeling about you when it comes to love, romance, and relationships. Remember, take the energies, how it resonates for you. If it's not your story, don't try and make it fit. You can stick around to the end. There may be something that becomes relevant for you. But if not, you can carry on to the next video respectfully. All right. So Pisces, we're going to be using the Stranger Things deck. Let's hop into this. Let's see what's going on with you and your person. We got judgment showing up, leading. And it's like right there, the hermit. Hmm. What is this? The knight of spokes, which is the knight of cups in the heart of it. The Ten of Scoops, Ten of Pinnacle. Oh, wow. <laughs> Some good cards. Okay, and the Six of Spokes, which is the Six of Cups. Okay, Pisces, you and your person, Judgment, Hermit, Knight of Cups, Ten of Pinnacles, Six of Cups. What's crossing everything? <sighs> the Eight of Spokes, which is the Eight of Cups, okay? So, Pisces, you know, it may be time to move on from a situation, okay? Judgment leading this reading, it's like something's right up in your face, up close and personal, you know. And when I look at the card, I see the red. It's like in a low vibrational space, you know, the root chakra, the base chakra. And it's like time for you to be uplifted. Time for you to, you know, come up out of hard times or hard relationships, you know. Take a good look at yourself. Make a choice. What do you want to do? Where do you see yourself? Is this relationship helping you or hurting you? Are you better 
before the relationship, you know, or worse, you know. So with judgment, it's really time to get your mind right and elevate. I think, you know, when it comes to romance and relationships, period, you know, um, it's time for you to rise and come up out of some darkness or some depression or something. Look, the hermit, okay, is a seeker, right? Someone who has a lot of knowledge and wisdom, you know, um, but you know, the opposite, which is you, the Pisces, the water, you know, it's just like rise up above the, you know, it's like somebody been drowning in their emotions and it's time to come up out of being so emotional. You know, it's time to take some form of control over them. It's time to make wiser decisions around them. You know, it's time for you to be able to control those emotions and seek out partners that fulfill them, you know, add to the joy or the feelings that you would like to experience when it comes to relationships, you know, when it comes to emotion. It's time to you for you to make better love choices. Knight of spokes, knight of cups, right? It's like, hey, honey, I'm home, but only for the moment, right? So it's like, you got to stop letting people run in and out of your life. Romance you up, love bomb you, tell you everything you want to hear, sex you up, whatever be going on, taking you out on dates, you know, um, sweet nothing conversations, you know. It's just like, you know, it's time to really, like, cut all these loose ends off. If you state your business and if you dating somebody and it's reached that time, you know, to where you want certain things out of life. Maybe you want to be married. Maybe you want to have children. Maybe, you know, whatever you want to do in your relationships, how you see your future. You know, um, if these people aren't offering that or you don't see the signs of them wanting to do that, if they want to treat you as the fun guy or the fun girl and we just hang out and kick it and, you know, drink, smoke, eat, you know, doing all these unhealthy things day after day and it's, and it's turning into nothing, then, you know, we can let them kind of like social people go when when you're really searching and seeking and really looking for something that's going to feed your soul or your spirit because we got the judgment and the hermit right here and <clears throat> you know it isn't like you in a low vibrational space and it's time for you to elevate you got to tell these motherfuckers what you want and if they don't want the same thing you want then it's time to you know keep it moving Tennis scoops. I feel like with this tennis scoops, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to uh, enjoy life as it is. You know, you're not asking for nothing real big. You're just looking for stability. Someone that'll be there for you like you would be there for them. You just want someone you can enjoy, a companion, right? Six of cups, right? It's It's just, you know... You want, like I said, you want to experience that joy. And some partners make you happy... Some don't, but it seems like somebody's focusing on more of a memory of happiness. You know, a memory of happiness with the Six of Cups. You know, or what it what it, what love felt like when you were younger or when you first ever felt love or the beginnings of love. You know, you, you want to stay in those parts of it. But, you know, we don't get to stay there. You know, life comes at you, things happen, and we have to keep growing, and we have to keep going. Yeah, so with the Eight of Cups crossing everything, Pisces, it just seems like it's time for you to move forward from anything or any relationship that's making you unhappy or unfulfilled. Okay? So let's talk to the Knight of Cups, right? Let's talk to the people that run in and out of your life. Let's see where, where they at. Where, where they at mentally, emotionally for you? You know, what is the energy of this person or the people that you deal with? Okay, we got the Queen of Wands. You know, these are the struggle type of people, you know, that has a lot of potential, right? The Queen of Wands... I love her for real. You know, she she's like a really good friend, right? So they like you know, these these people that that you could sit, you keep as a friend even though you probably slept with them before. You know, the hard time women and men, the ones who are always available or there or something. The ones who really passionate, like light you up. You so you going for the good shit, somebody that could really like, you know, arouse you or make you feel great in special ways right somebody that lights you up so 
you know, these back and forth people you deal with is just people that kind of like feed your low vibrational energy. Like when you just say you single or, you know, you're not happy at home and you steps out, you cheat, you're a cheater, right? You ain't happy at home. You go and find something that make you happy. That's this queen of wands. That's what your knight of cups are when you out here, <clears throat> you know, seeking love or not happy in the love situation that you in. So it's just like, you know, your knight of cups is just struggle meat. <laughs> I'm going to call it struggle meat, man. I don't care. Okay. And then we have the knight of swords, right? It'd be like, heal yourself, Pisces. I, I feel like this is what the universe is saying for some of you. Remember, take the energy, how it resonates. If it ain't your story, don't make it fit, right? But I feel like heal yourself with this knight of swords because even the knight of swords is like in a low vibrational space with the red. You know, like you be rushing into situations or you be rushing back or it's easy for somebody to have access to you too. run in, say what they got to say. Y'all do what y'all got to do. And then it's over just as fast. And look at all the people in this knight of swords. Like it's too many people that you you need to cut ties like. You got to get rid of these people who are not serving you because all they will ever do is run in and out of your life and 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 because they guess what they're attracted to they all coming for your light your goodness your pureness right so you know pisces it's time judgment it's time to be uplifted it's time to level up it's time to cut people off if they not with what you want if you because you looking for true love you don't want to be like ran through you don't want to keep dealing with this person that person you deal with this person that person because you're looking for the true love and you're trying to seek out which one of these motherfuckers gonna love me right take care of me you know and vice versa whatever right and you keep picking the wrong ones or something it's like you know take the time for yourself just for a little while you know i feel like that's important okay so let's talk to this six of cups let's see you know why you keep thinking about past love or when you were younger or when you felt free you know when you was at your most happiest it's like that's where you want to be again you want to reinvent yourself you want to bring your heaven back to earth right here with you right now so you want to bring your joyous moments from the past to the present you want to feel that again you know you want that feeling of happiness and and no worries and stress free and just you know pretty much being happy and we got the tower okay and this is definitely when the universe steps in and it's like well stop lying to yourself stop lying to these people that you deal with face it face everything break down the walls take off the makeup take off the wigs take take off the little the hat top things for the men you know the fake beards the clothes the designer the cars you know strip yourself and face yourself right face yourself it's judgment time. You have to accept all that is and all that is done and, and move forward from there. You know, so to, to go back to being happy, you have to release all these expectations you have on people. You have to release the expectation people have on you. You got to live in your truth, not what you think the world want to see of you, but present the true you. So you got to break down all these fake narratives about what you think somebody expect out of you or what you expect. You just have to come real raw and authentic and in the flesh. Is they going to love you when you ain't got nothing? Because this tower is about exposure, breaking shit down, you know, being exposing the truth. So if, if you a Pisces that ain't really got nothing. Is they going to accept you how you is if you not fronting, if you not faking, if you not trying to be something else? Is they going to love you the way you are? You know, so true happiness going to come from within. But you're going to have to break down all the false narratives that the world presents to you in your face. You're going to have to be yourself and you're going to have to offer yourself, you know. got to let them see who you is off the top. Let them know what you want off the top. Queen of Cups. Because you too powerful. Look at you. You moving shit with your mind. This little wheel right here is the Ace of Cups. Right? Because some of y'all to the point where it's about to be like, fuck love. I'm going to destroy everybody who come in my path. Right? Right? Because look, this 11. 11, 11. Her. The, the woman in the picture. She's 11. Right? That's her name. That's, that's what her number. 
right? Because she's special. She's got powers and so do you, right? You got emotional power, but you got to be wise about the decisions you make with those emotions because they're going to either build you up or break you the fuck down or have you out here, you know, going through a lot of mental and emotional turmoil. So the thing is to be open and honest with self, Pisces. Tell these people what you want. Okay, so let's talk to judgment, okay? Because it's time to level up. It's time to move on. It's time to, you know, be in your truth. And then you have justice. And that's what's going to set you free. Being in your truth is the only thing going to set you free. And sometimes being in your truth, you have to leave everybody alone and go into hermit mode and find yourself. Okay, you got to look at yourself. The justice is about checking yourself, being balanced, being fair, speaking your truth. You know what I'm saying? And that's really what this love reading's about. I thought it was going to be about your person and you, but it seems to be about the you. Like the universe wants to send you a strong message. Pisces in general. Maybe there's a lot of Pisces out here now who just need to hear the truth about themselves and not just something that you want to hear. Because I feel like the universe, like, let's just keep it real. You make a lot of bad decisions around love. For the younger, unevolved Pisces, you want to love everybody. You think everybody that touch you going to love you and they don't, you know, and, and but you don't want to be ran through. So you got to know who you are first before you give yourself freely because you will end up going from this joyous space to this space of where your emotions can spiral out of control. Right. When love has hurt you too bad, you could start, you know, using a lot of emotional manipulation without even recognizing the power that you have on somebody else's emotion. So with justice coming out, I just took to justice to the judgment. I just feel like the universe saying, Pisces, it's time for you to take a good look at yourself and make some better decisions in the partners that you choose. Love on yourself more. Um, be emotionally wise. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, you know, balance yourself out first. So let's see what else comes with judgment. Because <laughs> it ain't the other people is you. Even though if it is them, it's still you. That's what the universe is saying. Right? Because look, you create your own reality here with the magician. You got all the tools you need to manifest whatever you want in your life. And if you're unhappy or if you're willing to step out on your relationships because you're looking for something the person that you with just can't give you, then you need a reality check. You need to check yourself, man. You need to really think about where you see yourself with love, romance, and relationships. And if you haven't figured it out, it's time for you to seek and find that here with the hermit because you could create anything. You can have any thing, any person, any type of relationship you want, but you got to first know what you want, what you're looking for. And you got to make sure that the people you're vibing with, the vibration has to be the same frequency as yours or above, you know? So it's time for you with the hermit to just like figure out what it is that you want, you know? Get your emotions together. We got the page of scoops. The page of pinnacles. It's your responsibility. And when you're ready, you can come out and show the world the new you. It's okay to go into hermit mode and fix yourself and make yourself solid and strong again. That is your responsibility and your responsibility alone. Make the change. Okay. What else comes with the uh, hermit, right? You got to go fucking love yourself. This is the Ace of Cups. You have to go love yourself, right? Have a new beginning in love with you before you give all that precious good love to someone else. Okay? That's where your stability come in at. That's when you get to enjoy the small things in life. Have great companions and partners and, you know, love and family and everything. Your wishes start to come true when you, you know, do things, you know, from from within. Be real. Be authentic. The, the This is what the universe is saying, Pisces. I only understand authentic energy. That's it. Your thoughts create your reality. And from what you send out, from what you think and how you respond and act and what you put out is what I send back to you. But I only 
resonate with pure, true, authentic energy. And that's what you have to be to yourself. Authentic as fuck. Like, right? That's what's going to make you happy and bring in the stability that you want. And nobody can give it to you, you know? You got to create it because you got the power. One card at a time, please. What else comes with this Ten of Pentacles? Okay. And we have the Three of Wands. And that's when you're going to go from a, a, a caterpillar to a butterfly. That's when your whole world is going to expand. That's when all your abundance is going to come in. That's where your light going to meet the light of others. You know, instead of always attracting the dark, you're going to begin to manifest and attract abundance and prosperity and great people and uh, great suitors or partners. But you got to do the work first. So what else come with this Ten of Pentacles? That's what's going to bring in your stability, Pisces. The strength. It's going to take some of you everything you got. But be proud of where you at and how far you've come. Because you're not a failure. Nothing you have done is going to set you back. You just got to move forward from here. You got to be in your power. Okay? You got to hold back from temptation. You got to fight. You got to just be in your strength, your inner strength. All right. So what's crossing all the energy is the uh, the six of wands, the six of strands. That's when your victory comes in. That's when you'll be recognized. That's when you'll start to attract the type of partners you really want who understand what you're talking about and ain't, you know, ashamed or too proud to give you that. Real men, real women, you know, however you want to look at that. But that's when you become more successful in love, romance, and relationships. All right, so Pisces, let's get uh, a message in love to close out the reading, okay? Let's get a message in love to close out the reading for you here. All right, take the first one. And it is transformation. <laughs> Transformation, you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. You hear that shit? Transformation, you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. Cannot make it up, Pisces. I fucking love y'all. This is the energy. I hope it resonated. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, you have the fourth chakra, and this is the heart chakra, and this one is relevant to compassion and forgiveness. I have compassion for myself and for those around me. I let go of anger, resentment, and torments from the past, and I do not give my power away to those involved. Forgiveness is a gift I give to myself. I forgive myself for things I feel I could have done differently in the past, and I remind myself that my response could not have been any more evolved than it was at the time. I am compassionate to those in need as this shows them that they are not alone. I practice this by listening, sharing, understanding, and being of service. Compassion and forgiveness is the positive of energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead. Hit that like or subscribe button, baby. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.